Max back with another attack. So come on in and just relax. Hit subscribe and join the fun. You're Zach to the future now, son. Okay, guys. Zach's back with another attack. Um, sorry to sound so enthused. Uh, sarcasm there about this and I know that I've taken a few days off of the vlog and I apologize for that as well um, just got off work we've been working 10 hour days friggin sucks yo um, going in at 5 in the morning and working until 3 and then you know a half hour 45 minute drive home and then I gotta walk my dogs and I just haven't had time to record, to edit, to do anything, and then, um, you know, even things at home haven't been perfect, um, which, you know, I guess it is what it is, but, um, today I decided I was going to make a vlog anyway, no matter what, I was going to get one done, try and get some other vlogs uploaded, I don't have to go until 6 tomorrow, so... It's not a whole lot better, but, you know, I think it's only an eight-hour day, so that should make it slightly better. Um, I have to admit, I am uh, wandering around the parking lot right now looking for my truck because I forgot where the hell I parked. Um, so it could be anywhere. This is uh, my third or fourth lap. Hopefully you'll get some enjoyment out of my suffering, I guess. It's shouting for ya. Um, but yeah, so I don't have much else to add right now. We're probably gonna go up to the lake. Um, Misty and Jema and Aspen. Um, I, I think only Jema's really been on my vlog, but today's their last day. They're driving back to Arizona. So um, I think we're gonna go visit them before they leave but that's it for now hopefully I find my truck soon so this is a deep fried Twinkie um, they're doing we went up to the lake to say bye to Misty and Jayma and Aspen and uh, they made a bunch of fried foods so we got deep fried Twinkies which I've never had hopefully it's good I don't want to waste a perfectly good Twinkie if it's gross and um, this which is the most ironic food ever. Do you know why, babe? Because we're at a lake, standing on a pier, and this is a pierogi. So, yeah, I, I don't know if it's uh, the pizza, or uh, all the fried food they're having here, or Ashley's delicious cooking, but if I am not 500 pounds by the wedding, I don't know what. It's like deep fried food. That's because it is deep fried food. Although not quite like the deep fried food. All right, something on it. missing. Mm -hmm. There is definitely something missing. I think they use extra. Well, I think at fairs they use like. I mean, they typically also put stuff on top. Well, yeah, they put like powdered sugar and crap on top. But I think they also use like elephant ear batter on the outside of the Twinkie, whereas I think they just dropped batter. the Twinkie into the deep fryer with No, these. there's something on it, maybe? No, no, maybe you're right. They either did, or it's not batter that's meant to be on something yeah. sweet. Out of 100, what do you guys rank this? Two out of 100? Okay, what do you rank it, Shane? But I don't like Twinkies to start with, so... Um, I'm not a big Twinkie fan either. Probably around... Uh, 60, 70 range. Wow, that's pretty high. Not really. That's way higher than I would have given it. I'm gonna say like uh, If I was starving, I'd eat it. I'd eat it. <laughs> I'd, I'd say like, like there would a, be no hesitation to eat it. I'd Whereas say like starving, a 30. Like a pile of dog crap, I'd still hesitate to eat it. <laughs> that, I mean, yeah, I guess that's true. If I was dying I would of starvation, rate that I would eat that. Lower than I would rate that. So I'd say like 30, but it's, I wouldn't choose it. <laughs> All right, Shane and I are gonna take the jet ski out. Here we go. All right, bro, you ready? Hopefully. We are going 
a brisk one mile per hour, zero, mi two mile, one, zero. Okay, we're going really slow. That's the motto here. Um, and yeah, so we are on Big Turkey Lake going really slow to get through the buoys and then we are going to get up to about 80. But I don't, I don't know how much I can actually uh, vlog going 80. I'm really afraid of dropping my phone. Now if I had some kind of a GoPro, maybe, but with an iPhone, um, no matter how much water resistance it's got, I don't think that it will survive being dropped to the bottom of the lake if I can even recover it from the bottom of the lake. So yeah, I might let it go for a little bit. Alright, I'll catch you back with you later. Okay guys, so obviously I found my truck and uh, survived another day of work and then we went up to the lake and had deep fried Twinkies and pierogies and uh, went for a jet ski ride. I wanted to actually video uh, a little bit more of my family and saying goodbye to Misty and Aspen and Jama but my phone died so <laughs> you didn't get much of that. It actually died while we were on the jet ski so I couldn't do any more jet ski video either. We ended up uh, actually hitting land uh, slightly and the speedometer stopped working for a moment and it really scared me I thought that I had broken the jet ski but luckily it started working again and all is good so no worries there <laughs> but um, now we're back at home I'm about to go to bed gotta wake up at 6 again or be to work by 6 so I gotta wake up at like 4 5 at the latest uh, but probably 4 so I can get a shower in and uh, maybe get another YouTube video posted. Um, I'd say today was pretty productive overall. I'm glad that I got a vlog in. Sorry I missed the last couple days. Um, one thing that's going on is Angry Joe, who's a big YouTuber, uh, stopped doing his angry reviews and all of his fans are really ticked off at him because it's they expect him to do that. And an analogy a lot of people have been making is what if your boss uh, told you to get a project done and you said you'd get it done on by a certain date and then you didn't get it done you know that date came and you said oh well other things were going on I took a vacation you know my family got in the way it just wouldn't fly and likewise what if uh, you were watching your favorite TV show like I really love the show this is us what happens if they said this is us we will return um, August 29th or something. I don't remember the exact date, but I'll probably make some content when it does come back. <laughs> but what if I tuned in on that date and it was just people talking about their interests or people saying, oh, well, you know, family and stuff got in the way, so it'll come out whenever it comes out, you know, but thanks for watching now. You know, it, you just won't like it. So, I, I genuinely do see both sides, and I think people shouldn't be so entitled. It's his YouTube channel, and he's not stopping those angry reviews. He's just doing a bit of a hiatus. So, you know, I do see both sides a little bit, but it really opens my eyes a little bit and makes me mad that I can't follow through as much as I want to when I say I will do daily vlogs, or daily content, or... I've been pretty good about the once a week thing. Um, not necessarily on Fridays, but I did say that it might not be every Friday. It might just be at some point in the week. Um, and I think overall on that, I've been pretty good. So um, anytime I've missed that, I am sorry. And again, I don't mean to be super apologetic about anything, but at the same time, I know you guys want me to be the best I can be and you want the best content you can get so I strive to give that to you I strive for excellence and to meet my goals and to meet your uh, expectations to exceed your expectations so in any time I'm not doing that I apologize and it's something that I'm really working on and it really gets me down it messes with my head it makes me upset and makes me strive even more, motivates me, makes me persevere to do better next time and continue to do better for you guys. So thanks for watching. I sincerely, sincerely mean it. You guys are the reason I'm doing all of this. You guys are the thing that keeps me going, keeps me waking up in the morning. So I love you all. Thanks for watching. I'm Zach. Don't do crack and I'll catch you in the future.